Ta-da! Oh, the possibilities. For this video, we are going to take a look at this Playmobil pirate ship as a potential terrain project for our Dungeons and Dragons campaign. Hello gamers, Matthew here from Grey Army Gaming in lovely Loon, Sweden. For this video, I want to show you an idea I have for a project. The possibilities here are endless. Now, I've been looking into getting uh, ships for D&D because we're going to eventually have our, our characters out on the ocean again, cruising around. And I've been looking online for some of the, the WizKid ships and things like that, but those are so expensive. We're talking hundreds of dollars. I mean, of course, they look really cool, don't get me wrong, and I would love to have one. Um, but right now, that's just a little bit outside of my budget. Um, but I've come up with another idea that, that might work um, maybe not as well, but pretty well. And that is to go ahead and use some old Playmobil pirate ships to see if we can pull off something of a similar effect. Now, of course, the first concern is with scale. Uh, Playmobil has a lot larger scale than Dungeons & Dragons. We're not talking 25, 28 millimeter. Um, their figurines are a lot larger. So some of the things immediately on the ship are already wrong. I've taken off this, um, the steering mechanism, and a few other things. Um, you can see here, however, though, when we put some figurines down, if we're able now to play a little bit with the construction and to redo some things, that actually this will be a pretty decent size to be able to move figurines around on. Um, as far as the the, the length and the width, it's not that different than uh, the WizKids ship that you might get. So it's about the right size. The scalability though is going to have to, we're going to have to play around with a little bit. For example, these right here, these ropes, it's not going to work. This up here on top, we have the crow's nest, too big. Um, there's other items and stuff we're going to have to change. Um, but we'll make our changes, we'll make our modifications as we go. But as you can see, as far as the space on the deck goes, this is going to be a great size ship for some role playing. So the plan at this point is going to be pretty simple. I'm going to try and strip down everything from the ship that doesn't belong, that's too large, that doesn't look very good. I've already gone and taken off some of the stickers and things on the ship. There's a whole bunch of stuff back here that just didn't look good. It looked really fake and plasticky. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead now and try to cover this thing with wood. I've got stirring sticks from McDonald's. I've got other popsicle sticks. I'm going to try and cover this thing with wood and see if I can make it look like a real solid wooden ship. These uh, Mass are obviously going to have to be modified and changed. I've got some um, twine and other things to try and make it look like real ropes. We're going to have to change these a ton. Um, we're going to cut out some pieces. I'm going to try and go ahead and scratch up the plastic uh, where I don't cover it with wood and make it look like wood grain. Um, it's going to be a kind of an experiment as we go. But as you can see here, this solid plastic construction is going to be a really good base with which to begin this project as we begin to lay down our wood and to add our different layers to it. We're going to add something here in the front. I've, I've got an idea for how to make a really cool rod that sticks out. I've got a, um, an old dragon um, plastic piece that I might cut off the head and use it there. Um, but I don't really know. I mean, that's what's going to be fun about this project is we're going to take it step by step and I'm going to show you the process that I take you through in order to try and arrive at a pretty decent final product. Um, so there'll be a lot of mistakes made on the way, um, but hopefully we can learn a lot. Hopefully this will be a good series for you as well as you follow along and try to maybe do something similar on your own. Well, there you have it, folks. A quick glimpse into uh, the idea uh, for this terrain piece, turning this simple $8 plastic Playmobil pirate ship into hopefully what will be a really cool terrain piece for Dungeons and Dragons. Now, we're going to need some creativity. Uh, I'm going to make a ton of mistakes, but hopefully as you follow along in this series, we can all learn a ton. And in the end, we'll have an awesome terrain piece for Dungeons and Dragons. Well, thank you for joining us here today at Grey Army Gaming for the future of fantasy.